So when we got on the drawing boards to start implementing the vision of our founder, uh, we were looking at uh, what the industry is asking for today. And we went through reports after reports and uh, media stories after media stories. And we really uh, found out that uh, AI is the area where most jobs are and are about to come in the near future. Uh, one of the major studies from uh, World Economic Forum reported that uh, 97 million AI professionals will be needed by 2025. This is just next year. And uh, this number is expected to grow in 2026, the year when our first graduates, uh, graduates from Sarasaya Institute are expected to come out. So we, are, we, we took this data point and then asked the question, well, of those 97 million, which are the top three roles, industry roles that are most in demand? Where are these jobs? Which are these roles that people really want to uh, work? And we found out that, uh, I mean, there are many other positions in the industry today, but the top three are AI engineer, data scientist, and the more recent one, generative AI engineer, which is expected to grow um, in, in the coming years. So um, we took these three roles and started looking at the job postings. I mean, that's where what concerns every student. And we, look at, we looked at job posting after job posting, and we wanted to understand what is it that the employers are looking for. And, we identified the common skill sets across these jobs and uh, we then mapped the skills to the courses that we wanted to include in our curriculum. And once we knew what courses we our students should learn to be able to succeed in these jobs, we designed the learning objectives and then started developing the course material, the content. So, we call this a role-based curriculum. And I think we are one of the first to do that for a degree program anywhere in the world in AI. So we are really excited about it. I think it is one of the uh, most innovative and ambitious projects. And I think uh, our students uh, will be the best judge of it. And, uh, and I think uh, it will help them achieve their dream role uh, in AI. Now, when we went through that exercise uh, of identifying skill sets from job postings, uh, we these are some of the competency areas or skill sets we found uh, that were the most asked for uh, in any of these roles. And obviously, artificial intelligence or AI is at the front and center, but uh, we have programming, uh, cloud technologies, uh, data management, uh, the traditional computer science and math, and uh, technical management, which includes things like project management and product management and so on. Uh, one of the highlights here is our practicum and human skills uh, competency areas. Uh, practicum includes things like uh, internships, uh, industry projects, and uh, technical interview prep, uh, skills that most students do not get in a degree program, but we uh, included them right in the curriculum. So you don't have to go out and look for developing these skills elsewhere. And we have human skills, which are sometimes referred to as soft skills, but uh, we think there is more to it. And these are skills that help you thrive and become a, a better person uh, uh, overall, holistically, uh, as you uh, go up in your career. So based on the top three roles that you saw in the previous slide, uh, we came up with these three tracks and two degree programs. So we have two degree programs. Uh, I think our founder mentioned that before in his keynote, uh, the Bachelor of Science in Artificial Intelligence, which is a four-year degree program, and the two-year degree program, Associate of Science in Artificial Intelligence. I should emphasize these are not computer science programs. These are dedicated artificial intelligence degree programs. And they have three tracks, and the three tracks are completely based on the three, the top three industry roles in the job market today. And those are the AI engineer, AI or the machine learning engineer, the data scientist, and the generative AI engineer track. I just wanted to quickly uh, mention a note on terminology. Uh, since we have a lot of attendees from India, uh, sometimes the terminology used in the US could be confusing. So a very quick clarification. 
when we use the term program, uh, I think uh, some people in India like to mention, refer to that as a course. And what uh, people call a course in the United States sometimes is referred to as a subject in India. So just a clarifying note here as I use these words uh, in the coming slides. So what do you get out of our degree programs? Uh, these are some of the major points I wanted to highlight. Uh, our courses are designed by industry experts. And there is more I'm going to talk, I, 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 wanted to, I want to say about in another slide. But our courses are designed by, not by traditional professors, but people who are at the forefront and cutting edge of AI. Uh, you get to do real world industry projects. These are not your toy projects that are at the end of a textbook. These are coming from actual companies. And you get to do these uh, projects and get feedback from real people in real companies. Uh, you get to attempt industry certifications. Our courses are, based, are very well aligned with some of the most popular industry certifications. Uh, you get a dedicated course facilitator who works with you very closely uh, to make sure that you get through all the content and the material comfortably. Uh, you, we have uh, small classes. Our class sizes are less than 50 and in many cases much less than that. Uh, you get 24-7 TA support. Although we will provide you with an AI tutor, we are an AI institute, but um, we also value the, uh, the presence of a human. So you will have access to a person uh, 24 seven, if you have any uh, questions uh, or you need help with the course material. Uh, you get uh, top of the line lab access. Our labs are some of the best platforms you can ever find uh, anywhere. Uh, and they are fully configured and provisioned, which means you do not have to waste times installing and configuring things. We provide you everything set up and installed. And you get one-on-one -on -one success coaching that our founder talked about in the keynote. Uh, another thing I wanted to highlight, we do not have exams. Uh, I don't know of any person who once entering the industry ever had to take exams. So we, we do not have exams. We are totally project based. You get assessed based on your projects. These are some of the industry certifications you can attempt. Uh, they are the most popular ones from Amazon as well as from Microsoft. And our courses prepare you for both. You can choose whichever you want to go. Our projects are of two types, capstone projects and course projects. The capstone projects are the ones that come from companies and uh, you get feedback from employees and from the, of the company as well as you can use the company logo to put on LinkedIn. The course projects are something that you put on GitHub and after you completed all our courses, you will have a rich project portfolio to showcase to the world. So these will be really helpful in getting your first internship and your first job. Uh, we, our courses always stay updated. We are not, we do not leave courses out of, you know, we don't update them two years or three years down the line. Our courses continuously get updated. We have a very proprietary change management framework and one of its kind. And it's kind of inspired from CI/CD framework used by software companies. And we update our courses based on student feedback, industry trends, as well as alpha and beta testing of courses. Our program is very provides a lot of flexibility. You can choose your track. So if you are in the data scientist track and for some reason you want to switch to the generative AI track, you can do that easily. Uh, you can choose your electives, the courses that maybe uh, interest you but were not in your track. You can choose your industry project and you can also change your course load. So if we have two courses in a semester, but for some reason, if you want to go up, you can take an extra course and finish faster. Uh, you can exit with an associate if you are in the bachelor's degree program. So if you are in the four-year program, you can exit after two years and get an associate degree. And also we provide a lifetime access to all the course material that you had in throughout the program. A note about our faculty, we do not have the traditional professors. And uh, we believe that one person is not sufficient to make the course, uh, particularly the kind of fast-moving content within AI today and uh, also definitely not uh, possible for them to deliver courses. So we, we have a team that develops and delivers courses. And we have two kinds of teams, the course development teams and the course delivery teams. Uh, the development team involves obviously the instructor who is our subject matter expert, and it involves instructional designers, their professional video producers, graphics and animation designers, and product managers. Uh, on the delivery side, we have the instructor who does live Q&A as well as grading. And we have course facilitators and TAs who do the live sessions, online sessions, and program coordinators who do quality control. So that's about our faculty. 
regarding modality and format, we are 100% online and we are by Kronos, which means uh, even though we are online, we have both self-paced as well as live content. So two thirds of the time you spent will be self-paced. You can do it anytime you like. And one third will be live sessions uh, in the form of tutorial or review sessions. We have total six semesters in a year. Five are regular semesters. Now, one thing interesting is our semesters are eight weeks long, which means every semester is two months. And you can see when do they begin and end. A lot of this information is on our website. Uh, I would recommend you to go there uh, to take a closer look. And we have an optional summer semester also. So if you want to do something uh, which is not in the regular curriculum and want to cover in uh, the summer, you have that option. And the summer semester is accelerated. It is one month, which is four weeks long. So, so that's regarding semesters. And our course load, as I mentioned, the regular course load is two courses. So in any given semester, your regular course load will be two courses. If you go part-time, you can go down to one, or if you want to go faster, you can take go up to three courses. Uh, our admission is pretty straightforward. Uh, the criteria, uh, you just need to have a high school or a senior secondary school equivalent. And there is a math requirement. We believe that math provides a very elegant language to talk about AI. So we do have that requirement, the details on our, on our website. And we also uh, uh, take uh, our students to take a test, uh, although we call it SAT, but it's not the traditional SAT, it's service admissions test. And we have three intakes in a year. We have August, January, and May. And to end, uh, I just wanted to give you a, uh, like a sneak peek into what a typical semester schedule looks like. So this is an example from our Associate of Science, the generative AI track. So these are the 10 semesters and the courses you do in those 10 semesters. You start with a really fantastic course called Powers of AI. It's a no code, no math intro to AI. And then you learn Python programming and so on. All the details on our, are on our website. And as you see, there are two courses in every semester. So you keep your focus on those two courses. And as you make progress, you uh, if you, uh, you you should be able to complete the associate in two years and bachelor's in four years. So I would strongly encourage you to go to sarasai.org and take a look at our program, our curriculum, and feel free to reach out and ask any questions. We will be there to uh, help you understand uh, our coursework, our curriculum, 